Howdy, Jim. Hello, Skeet. How are you, Horsetail? In town for a blowout, Jim? No, no blowout. We quit being wild. We're saving our money and making the old ranch pay for itself. Well, thanks, Jim. Bring us some more. Don't worry, I will. Dan, I was just telling the sheriff here that deal he wants to go into isn't safe. He's right, Hickory. You better leave your $10,000 right here. You'll do the wise thing, and I'm sure you won't. Boy. And remember, there's nothing so safe as money in the bank. See you again, Hickory. Yes, sir. Goodbye. That was close. Say, what would we have done if he hadn't have gone without his money? <laughs> I reckon we'd have had to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, then, we've got to raise $20,000 for the time the bank examiner comes around again. Yeah. And we can't beg or borrow, well, so... Well, there's no place we can steal $20,000. Not in real money. There's nobody in this end of the territory got that much. We got that much right here in the bank? Yes, but what good would it do to rob ourselves? I was just thinking, if we could make somebody else responsible for that money, and then steal it back from them, they'd owe it to us. Who would? But the railroad would, if we shipped the money. And a train should happen to get held up. Well, I'd just as soon go to jail for bad banking as for train robbing. But we'd have to blame somebody else for the robbery. Yeah, but who? Ah, that's it. Who? Well, what do you want? Reckon you remember me, Mr. McKee. No, I can't say I do. I'm Jim Bonner, the ranch owner whose cattle got killed in that wreck about six months ago. I come to see when you're going to settle for them. Well, I told you to take that up with a claim agent. Just a minute, please. You keep telling me to take it up with a claim agent. The claim agent keeps telling me to take it up with you. I'm getting tired of this buck passing. Yeah, and I'm getting tired of your lip, cowboy. Go on, get out of here. That's a public waiting room, ain't it? Ah, uh, the public, my eye. And if you don't get out of here, I'll throw you out. Yeah, and if you do, it'll be the last guy you ever throw out. Is that so? Get out of here. Go on, no, get, no, out no, here. get out of here. Get out. Go on, I don't want to get out of here. Go on, I don't want Stay out. Say, can you fellas figure out a way to get that agent out of there for me? Yes. I can go in there and give him a kick in the seat of the pants and he'll run me out of there. Uh, that's a salt and battery horse tail. Besides, you're getting too old for it. I can pull him out of there for you, Jim. You can't tell him anything. I've got a scheme all figured out. Now, Skeeter, don't do anything you'll get arrested for. I won't.
like I promised, you're leaving town. or gun token in this town. I, I guess I done wrong. I, I must have lost my temper again. <laughs> oh, I don't think we'll press any charges against them sheriff as long as he agrees to get out of town. Is that all right with you, McKee? Yeah. You know, uh, we're going to teach you railroad folks to treat us cowboys with some respect. Better get going. <laughs> <laughs> now don't take the law in your own hands again, Jim. Leave that to me. Oh, Hickory, we wouldn't do that for the world. bad for Jim and Horsetail and Skeet. I'll try to get enough money together, and you round up some reliable boys. In about a week, you are... Jim, looking for trouble? No. We just thought we'd come over and get acquainted with a new station agent. Go ahead. Jim, this new station agent must be a turf. 